All right, fan collectors, what we're looking at here today is a 42 inch Sears Emerson plastic fan. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a twist to it. I put uh, rainbow blades on it. These are off of a carousel two, I think. Yeah, you can see the old um, blade inserts, but I made some new ones. The fan itself is in pretty good shape. I got this out of a dumpster. Now I would use this canopy, but it's uh, slightly busted. So yeah, there's that. Thought it would be a cool idea to put these uh, carousel blades on it because one reason, the original one, I have three, three of the original blades are just completely broken. And somebody suggested to fix them with JV Weld, but I don't have time for that. But I did this just now. Put these carousel blades on it. I think it looks pretty cool. Turned out pretty better than I thought it would. But uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a test spin. I also think, I believe the motor in this fan is a K55B. I think this is two speed. So this would be low speed. I would have used the um, friction drives blades that are slightly smaller, but um, I wanted to give this thing a bit, I wanted to mix it up a little bit and put a uh, carousel two blades on it. I think it looks pretty cool. Brown, uh, fan with rainbow blades. Not sure what year this thing dates. I'm assuming mid eighties, mid to early eighties or late eighties. I don't know. I'll show you the tag when I'm done demonstrating it here. So as you can see, low speed is kind of like a medium almost. I don't know why, but this thing just looks good. It looks good now with these color blades, but that's just me. All right, we'll turn it up to turn it up to high now. Surprisingly enough, this thing does not wobble at all. As you, this is the same exact fan, by the way, from the Emerson Squeak video. And yes, uh, all three of the blades were still intact, except for that one that I showed you that uh, that broke. I literally walked down here one day. It was hanging where the the grating is to the right, and uh, the blade was just ch chilling on the ground. Like half of the blade was just chilling on the ground. So I'm like, all right, well, that's not going to be permanent. So I just took it down and I uh, had it resting on my bench. And then I'm like, you know, what? I want to make a video of this thing. So I, and then the idea of putting these carousel blades on it popped into my head and I thought it was great. And I'm glad I thought of this because I think this looks cool. thing runs quiet doesn't have any bearing noise see what I mean it's also got the lighter colors on top all right and spin down time I think it gives the same amount of, uh, of a breeze that it would with the original blades. So these blades have no uh, change for the fan at all. I 
don't know if I already explained it, but I pulled um, the motor with the blades and all that. I pulled this fan out of a uh, scrap metal dumpster uh, like June, last uh, June, I believe. If you follow me on my Instagram page, I have a post of this fan of uh, when I got it, when and how I got it. For those of you who don't, it's literally the same name as my YouTube. Alright, so it has stopped. I will end the video here. Oh wait, that's right, I was supposed to show the tag. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's our tag. Get some info. Sears fan. Sears Roebuck Inc. So there's your tag. Almost forgot to show that before uh, ending the video. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.